Hello everyone, this is Heath Floor with 1x5 Games. We are going to do an unboxing of our new demo deck for Nut Punch. And we're going to go ahead and take an honest look at this and see what we could do to improve the box, the cards, the game, etc. And we're going to just kind of dissect this here. I really want to get something like this out there so that when we do do the Kickstarter again, everyone has a little bit of confidence that we are getting a good product out there for the market and hopefully get the right backing that we need. So first things first, uh, Nut Punch, this is the front. Matt and I already talked about shrinking this image down a little bit, giving it a little bit bigger border. And we also have Shane working on a uh, different alternate design for the artwork, um, just as a special uh, tier for Kickstarter. If you look at the side of the box, it, uh, let's see, why is it, there we go. Look at the side of the box, uh, clearly indicate what the game, how many players, how long it takes, and what the age range is. On the bottom, we have demo not for resale. That will be where the UPC code goes. I have not created the UPC yet because I want to wait until we had the correct uh, box and we understand what we're going to be doing. Um, then we have nut punch on the side. On the front, you can see a custom Scully sticker there. That's actually pretty nice. And I could take this plastic off. One of the one of my complaints would be that we could do something better with the plastic, but to be honest, it's a one-time removal, so maybe it's not that big of a deal to get some scissors and crack that open. Back of the box looks pretty good. That punch there. Um, the Scully sticker doesn't come off very well or doesn't cut very well comes off easy enough you just oh let me just peel it off if you're very careful you could probably just peel that off and use it uh, one thing Matt and I talked about is this section right here friends see it says drink right there but that is part of the inside lip what it really says is friends friends punch friends, but friends don't let friends punch each other in the nuts. Until now. Nut Punch is a fast-paced, trick-taking game that encourages players to aim for the family jewels with cards. Um, so we talked about shrinking this down, maybe moving it so that uh, the drink portion isn't uh, doesn't look like it's part of that there. I'm going to have to look at some bicycle decks and see how they do it, because I know they do printing it here and then there. Uh, the other thing I notice is we do not credit the artist, which is uh, Shane Cooper, as the majority of you already know. So we will definitely be rectifying that in the future. Take a look at this. Uh, you're, you are going to see some cards that you haven't seen before. I'm probably going to flip through those a little fast because I don't want everyone to. I don't want to ruin the suspense too much. You know, we got to have something for someone to look forward to. Uh, Willie's disclaimer We here at 1x5 Games encourage all of you to embrace your inner child, punch as many nuts as possible, and have a great laugh doing so. And if you ever catch any of us out there in the real, wor real world, will gladly join in a round of punching each other square in the nuts. With cards, of course. Uh, not really looking forward to someone dropping to their knees and giving me a good solid Chuck Norris to the balls, if you know what I mean. Nut punch rules. We uh, cleared this up a little bit. We've uh, put in some bullet points. We, we've all, also used some color to highlight the attack rules or the defense rules. Um, I always felt it was straightforward, but uh, we we do get feedback from time to time. We definitely listen to that feedback and, and inject it into the rules to make it as clear as possible. 
excuse me. So the first thing you'll notice, uh, we beefed up the deck. We went from 52 cards to 72. That took six new designs, and um, yeah, quite a little bit of work to rebalance the deck, but we got it up to speed. We have our um, attack value here in red. You can see it's uh, inverted, so inverted into the splotch. This one's actually came out pretty good. Uh, the cards and the the lettering, really fantastic. Really proud of of the work that we've done here, and the company that is making these has done a fantastic job. Sorry, that's me warping it there, but if you look, it's it's really damn straight. Um, cards of the backs are perfect. No, no offense, uh, no complaints there. No offense. Um, you could see what we did with the artwork is instead of the black and white, we decided to go ahead and highlight um, with the shades of the card and what it's meant to be. So right here we have an attack card. We've highlighted Willie with some red pants. Um, you can see a light red tone for the person who's about to speed bag his balls. One thing Matt and I have talked about here is the wording. You know, it's it does a right justification there. I'm not sure if that's the most appropriate. And Matt and I have talked about this over and over, but it's still up in the air. So, you know, we'd love to hear some feedback. Give us some comments either on the YouTube video, this video, or on our Facebook page. We definitely listen to our fans. We listen to uh, blind testing, uh, normal testing, whoever's doing the testing or playthroughs. We definitely listen to you. And uh, Purple Nurple turned out pretty good. There's a, our first defense card here. Looks really good. Shrinkage. Munich. Ghost Balls. Nothing but taint. I don't want to go too far here. Thunder Punch. Uh, we got our bicycle kick. Love the checkered pants. Love the red stripes there and the uh, highlights on the socks. Shane really did a great job of revamping these cards. Shane and Matt, because they both had to work their asses off to get this right here. Polar Bear Punch. Tuck and Cover. Love that job. Love the I love the quit hitting yourself. That's definitely one of my favorites. Jack Reacher around, which is a play on the Jack Reacher series. You can see Tom Cruise here. He's about half Willie's height, which I think Tom Cruise is for everyone. Uh I think I can show you that one. Crane style. You can see Willie's testicles. Uh, coming out of his mouth there. We have Marble Shot. We did a lot of work to balance the game. So we added six new pieces, uh, six new cards, but you have to rebalance the game anytime you add something to it. So we did a... Okay, I can't show you the one underneath that. So we worked pretty hard to uh, realign the balance. But not only that, we have some amazing plans for the Kickstarter tier rewards um, that will be submitted in a foil pack. We have, uh, I believe it's up to 18 cards we have planned. If we get the, the full funding and then some, if we reach all of our stretch goals. So I'm going to take this off real quick and see what else I can show you. I'm just kind of sorting through the cards here, making sure I don't show you anything that I don't. Yeah. Okay. Those are mystery cards for now. Once we start a campaign, we'll be advertising a lot more, which, by the way, 
we have decided to go ahead and start that March 19th. March 19th. And the reason why, uh, Jewel Thief looks really, really sharp. I love the highlights of the of the edges there. Why did we wait till March 19th? Well, we need to, we ordered 10 of these decks. Matt and I own one each. We're sending some out to our friend in the army for his group. And um, we're sending some out to friends and family, but we also need to start getting some reviews in. So we're going to send them out for blind testing, uh, reviews, and just kind of go from there. We just really need to kind of get the ball rolling, get some momentum on this before we launch again on Kickstarter because we want this to be successful. Brass balls, really sharp there. The last one I can show you is nut tap. All right, so how do you play the game? Where can you play the game? Right now, we have a deck in Second Star Games in Prescott, Arizona, over by Park Plaza Liquor. If you guys want to go in there, they have a great library of games. You can go in there anytime and play on their tables for free. They have a really nice little shop, very friendly folks there. Uh, we go there regularly to not only do this, but I also do the X-Wing, and uh, we kind of do some of our development there as well. The So that's the only place you can play it right now for the public, or you can run into me or Matt and ask for a game. We'll definitely hook you up. We can play any day. Um, the other place we're going to be is in Arizona. There's a gaming convention at the end of March that Matt and I will both be at. We'll be showing off Nut Punch, Clunkers, and even Scully Solitaire. So that's pretty much it. Those are the highlights. Uh, thank you for joining me on this unboxing, and uh, I look forward to talking to you guys real soon. Cheers.